Hey everyone, it's Talison, and wanted to do like an unboxing video for you here. Um, so due to the pandemic and other reasons, I don't have a, a local comic shop anymore. Um, and I've always wondered about Midtown Comics, a uh, big comic store in New York. They do mail order. Um, having you know worked comic retail, I know mail order can be precarious. So I figured I'd check them out. Um, I set up a pool list with them and I made a uh, just an order of stuff just to get the ball rolling with them. Uh, this is already open because I opened it earlier. It happened to show up at the house right when I was leaving and I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. But um, wanted to kind of give you an idea. Uh, maybe if you're interested in doing an online uh, comic order, what they, in, what they uh, entail. So... I got the free shipping, which was if you did $75, um, you got free shipping. I will say it was slow. That's probably the, and I don't even know that um, I'm too upset about it yet, but we'll see on a monthly basis. I have it set up for my pool list for shipping only once a month so that I pay less shipping. Um, and if you have $70, $75 worth of stuff, you can get free shipping. Uh, it sat and processed for like a week and a half, and then it was a good two to two and a half weeks before I actually got the stuff. I ordered this stuff on June, well, I guess it's not that long. It was probably like a week in process. I ordered this stuff on June 15th. Um, I was heading down for my my surgery, so that's how I remember. Yeah, it was, it was June 15th, today's July 3rd. So it's not that long, but it seemed like it took forever to process. They shipped it, when it finally shipped, it shipped on a Monday. I didn't get the tracking notice until Thursday, and then that was two Thursdays ago now. So it was like just over two and a, just over two weeks that it took to actually get here. Um, but really nice box, nice and taped up. Uh, don't want my address showing there. <clears throat> and then open it up. Lots of bubble wrap. Everything was wrapped in bubble wrap. You got your invoice, and then I assume this is there table. I assume this is their sort of shopping bag if you go into their store in New York. But so it was taped like that. Like I said, I, I busted the seals on everything, but it was taped up pretty good. So nothing was moving around. So let's get in here and see what we got. And everything was nicely stacked and put together. This actually reversed from how it came because I pull it all out earlier so let's see what we got we got new teen titans the judas contract deluxe edition uh i missed my chance on buying the soft cover that they put out a couple years ago but they put out this deluxe edition somehow i have never read this book even though right over there if you can see it probably not now it's above there uh is a cgc 9.2 of the first appearance of nightwing uh which is what 44 of this um and I mean, I, I like the movie, I know the story. I just never actually read the book. And when I bought that uh, issue and got it CGC, I bought it digitally to read it, but I just, I can't get into reading stuff digitally. Uh, so I can't wait to knock that out. Um, on the regular stuff, you'll notice they used, I believe these are Ultra Pro, they're the resealable comic bags, and they all had boards. So that's good. Uh, I had a couple of them where the flap was a little crinkled up, but the books are fine. So we got uh, facsimile edition, of Detective 475, which is the Joker fish. Um, if you've seen the Batman the Animated Series episode, it takes from this and from the uh, from the Batman issue. It's uh, Joker's Spyway Revenge. I got the poster of that signed by Mr. Neil Adams up there. Oh, there's the Nightwing. Uh, we got the Doc Shaner cover for... Strange Adventures number two. I really liked number one. This is one of the things that's bummed me out on the pandemic as far as this being delayed because I was really, I really like Tom King. Um, Heroes in Crisis aside, but uh, his Batman stuff's fantastic. Uh, most of his stuff at Marvel was really, really good. And the first issue of this, I really, really liked. And I was really waiting for the second issue, but I love Doc Shaner. I wish Doc Shaner was doing the interiors on this. Uh, so I'm, I couldn't set up a pull list to this because I wanted the alternate covers. So I'm going to, I got to kind of order these as they come out. Um, 
Uh, we got a uh, Vengeance of Vampirella Volume 2, Number 2, Incentive Cosplay Version Cover, which has uh, Kara Nicole as Vampirella. Um, this is old, but I was never able to get it at the place where I was shopping before, so I um, happened to notice that they had it. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff from Miss Kara Nicole there, so um, I, I was kind of bummed when that one came out. I did get the... Um, uh, the Joni Brazos Vampirella, which was the number one of the series, but I didn't, I never managed to get the Kara Nicole. But, okay, Kara, if you're listening, which I'm sure you're not, I wish these models would announce when they're, when they're doing these, because literally when this one came out, she announced it the Tuesday before it released. Well, comic retail is what it is. You need to order stuff ahead of time, you, you know, and you can't go into a shop and go, hey, did you get this one special book, special cover, um, that... You know, it was probably, uh, probably, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, solicited, uh, you know, three months ago, but I just heard about it yesterday and I'm looking forward to today. You kind of need a heads up on these things. Uh, what else we got? I got, hey, uh, that's just a blank sketch cover for uh, Strange Adventures number one. So hopefully I'll do some Adam Strange art on that and that'll be available soon. And then I've got two different... No, this kind of threw me because I had the backs, but I assume it's because the barcode's on here. But I have two different of the Catwoman 75th anniversary. Or, I'm sorry, the 80th anniversary. So there's the Jim Lee because Jim Lee is my favorite artist and I will tell that to anybody who asks anytime they ask me. And one of my other favorite artists, J. Scott Campbell, doing like a, um, what do you call it? A Julian Umar, Batman 66. Is it Julie or is it Lee? I think it's Julie. Yeah, it's Julie. And then just to make the shipping, just to make the free shipping, um, I grabbed this. I did not realize it was going to be hardcover. But it is a Disney Comics uh, comic adaptation of both Incredibles movies. And I did notice that they just put out one of these for Moana. So if I like this one, I might end up uh, checking that out too. The art's really good on the interiors. Um, this, is, um, this is from Dark Horse. It's not from like the... It says Disney Comics, but it's not like the Boomer IDW that they've been doing. So that was the first like regular order. Uh, I'll do one of these when I get my first pool list order, which... Comics are just starting to get rolling again, but I think I've got two issues of Batman, an issue of Action, and an issue of Superman. I know I've got the new Shazam, which I'm really, really waiting for. The thing, the, the stuff that I was behind on, whatever, I'm already behind on it. But the stuff that, um, that was, that's been good, the stuff that's been really good, and there's a stupid clock, um, like Strange Adventures and like Shazam, it was like, oh, stupid pandemic, I gotta wait. Shazam's always delayed anyway, and I gotta wait three more months to read it? But, uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's here sometime next week. I really like the bag. I'm going to save these boxes because it's the perfect size of store comic stuff. And, uh, yeah, so um, I paid not, not, none of this was retail. No, I'm sorry, the two Catwoman issues were retail um, for whatever reason. But they have various deals. Uh, and now that my pool list is rolling, I can actually go to the website and go, uh, oh, hey, I want this, but I don't want it until you ship my next stuff for my pool list. And, and then they can do that. And even if it's a sale price, you'll get it. And uh, you don't have to worry about paying extra shipping for, you know, I'm going to make an extra order because I want to get this one book. No, just throw it in with my stuff and send it out when you send it out. So that's pretty cool. I think this was probably like 20% off and it's only $14.99 to begin with. Like I said, the Catwoman's were full price. I think uh, this was half off. This was like 15%. I think the regular stuff was like 15% off. Um, but they have... They have a way too that if you order stuff out of the previews catalog, I think it's twenty five percent off if, as long as you you know pre order commit and I think you, I, you think you probably have to pay ahead of time on that one. This one I got charged, or this stuff I just ordered, and then the the pool list stuff I got charged when it shipped. So when they had enough stuff to send me out for the month, it, I got charged when it shipped, and the shipping wasn't bad because I didn't have seventy five dollars on that. The shipping wasn't bad, but. Again, it's, it is taking a couple of weeks to get here, but in theory, when it comes, 
this and the stuff that I've got. I got a month's worth of comics that I can read. So if it takes them, you know, it'll it should they should now be coming once a month. So it should be another four weeks before the other ones show up. Um, and hopefully that won't be that bad. I mean, I, I like doing weekly comics, but really like. I save up so many things where it's like, oh, I'm going to read six issues of Batman in one shot. Uh, there's, the only stuff I read, like, as it comes out is the super, super stuff that I'm into. Like, like, the Shaz like Shazam, I'll read as soon as it gets here. Uh, Superman, I usually read right away. But um, it just depends. We'll see how this works out. Uh, I'll, I'll give them, I'm definitely giving them another month. We'll see from the month to month how it works. I added some stuff to my pool list for, like, the Green Lantern um, uh, was it 75th or 80th came out um oh uh dark knight's death metal i actually missed because i added it to my pool list but i added it too late in the week so it missed the cutoff period for the stuff that i was even though stuff that i'm having shipped the, on the stuff that's coming on the next shipment there was stuff that came out the same week as death metal that's going to be in there but i didn't get death metal in there because i didn't tell them to add it soon enough so that's something i got to remember uh, it's like the, the wednesday before you got to look or it's the Thursday or Wednesday before you get a look. So, um, this, yeah, this was all Midtown Comics. So sitting here in comic, uh, in Tellison Comic Studio, be hopefully posting some more art videos soon. Have been drawing. Check out my Instagram at uh, Tellison Comics, or Tellison Comics on Facebook, or Tellison Comics on DVR. And I've been doing a couple of good sketches uh, lately. I've been kind of slowed on the comic strip, um, but I'm trying to get myself into a habit of of uh, drawing. A sketch card at least every day um i just i've had health stuff and i'm also working on commissions so the, unfortunately when it comes to commissions the comic strip's got to take a back seat but but megan will be back and uh thanks for watching